in my party. Hey boys and girls, welcome to Gotta Know Joe Hobbies here in Spring, Texas. And we're gonna do a quick video on uh, how we set up a, a radio. Uh, and this is the, the fast way of doing it. You can get a lot more detailed. And of course, as soon as I start to make a video, this is gonna happen. I'll call you back. So, let me see your phone there real quick, or your radio. So, this is a uh, the first time I've ever worked with one of these little NXs. I guess the on and off button here is this thing here. There we go. So, we're gonna start off with, uh, see if you can see this thing. We're gonna start off, we're working on this little thing that we had one heck of a time with the wiring because it's got uh, it's got a flight controller in it and it also has uh, let's see if you can see you have to focus there it also has one of these uh, crazy little breakout boxes and the instructions from China were not much help I think they actually uh, uh, well, I'll just leave it at that. I don't have anything nice to say. So we're going to start this. Like I said, it's pretty much, you know, the, the same all the way across the board. I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our, our little roll wheel here. And that's going to take you into your function list. You want to go all the way down uh, to uh, the bottom. Uh, and then you go up one for system setup. And it's going to ask you if you want to, because it's going to erase anything and everything that's on that particular model channel. We always want to start off fresh with a new model, unless you have something downloaded from uh, Horizon. Uh, we're going to select a model, and we're going to pick number five. That's going to be our spot. And we're going to go down, we're going to tell the model type. That's where it's going to erase all that information. And then you can go in and you can put your name in here, which uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my customer do that here in a minute. At this point, I'm just going to put a bunch of A's in there so I don't lose it. And uh, I think there's a back button here. Back, back. There we go. Okay, now. And aircraft type. Okay, so this thing here, it defaults on a single channel dual aileron normal wing. And... Let's see here. We can change that, and that's the thing. I don't know uh, if this thing is using. Auxiliary. Gear auxiliary. No, I'm going to set it up on single because I think all the channels are, are uh, used just uh, as one. We're not going to inhibit any gyros on this, so uh, we'll go back to our list. And then we're going to go down. Now, you can do your flight mode. You can do your flight mode setup, um, which I'll go ahead and show you how I do mine. Always, before you turn your radio on, you want to make sure all these switches are, are pushed up. And look, this is just a benchmark, okay? Everybody does their radios different. Uh, do me a favor, if you will, walk around here and look in the screen. And, and make sure that what I'm, that, that you can see this. Can you read that real, no, right here, buddy. You ain't gotta, no. you ain't gotta get all Cecil B. DeMille, <laughs> just, just right there. Now, I'm gonna, uh, and now we're getting a glare. Um, I'm gonna set my mode switch here. And when you, when you click on this, you can roll this around to pick, okay? What I do is I go up and I want to find a, a, a good three-channel switch. And the three-channel switch on this one here is, uh, looks like B. So instead of trying to pick that thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick that switch. You see how that works? And that's going to go ahead and it'll populate this, okay? And so I'm going to click it and I'm going to push it all the way back because I want it to uh, be in the first position, okay? And it's already preset for flight mode one. Flight mode two and flight mode three, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, flight mode one. And then if I click this up, flight mode two and flight mode three. So all that stuff's already set up, okay? Previous, previous, and I'm back out to my main, uh, my main uh, menu here. Okay, we don't want to mess around with another channel assign or any of that stuff. Uh, we're, we're hoping all that stuff's already going to be 
uh, do, you know, being all it can be. Now, before you go to the next step where you want to bind the model and make them communicate, you got to do something on pretty much all your airplanes, man. What you need to do is you can go back to the main screen, okay? And I want you to take close attention and look at the throttle, okay? When I go up and down on this here, that right there, that's the trim. That thing doesn't move with this. That thing moves with this here, okay? We want to make sure that we've got this thing all the way to zero, okay? Not on all models, but on some of them, if that trim is at zero and you bind it, you'll have to go back and manually do that every time you plug your, your plane in because it's, gonna, it's not going to remember the zero, uh, the zero trim. And uh, sometimes if you don't have it set up right when you plug your battery in, the thing will just start spooling up on you. Okay, so now that we've got the radio trim set to zero, now we want to go back to our bind. Okay, I'm going to click once there and I'm going to hit yes here. And I'm going to set it up. So let me get back over here. This thing is a bear to get to. That's how I cut my thumb off is uh, trying to trim back my little bind plug. Let me see here. Get that stabbed in real quick. Okay. Now. Uh, all right. Now what we're going to do here, hear that thing going. Now, don't ever do this with the prop on it. I fell out of... Okay, so now we, we, we've got this thing bonded, and before I do anything, I want to remember to come over here and take my bind plug out, because if I don't take that thing out, if I turn that battery off and put it back on, guess what? It's going to be back in bind mode again. Okay, uh, let me see here. I don't know how I can go about doing this to where I can work with this thing fast enough. All right, and I'm going to have to take my Band-Aid off here. I can't function with that thing on there. All right. So, again, I like to set these things up as simple as possible, okay? Um, if you're flying 3D, you, you, you may want to be a little bit more uh, uh, multi-switch oriented, but you can really, you can get all this done on, on one switch for, for your general flying. I can't think of too many... Uh, cases where I want to be on my highs, uh, my high rates with my ailerons and my low rates on my tail. I, you know, if I want everything on high, I want, you know, I want it all on high, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to our servo. Okay, and we're back. So that even looks a little bit better, doesn't it? So I'm hoping I'm not peeking out on my audio too bad. That's the other concern I've got because that thing keeps... Move this thing down a little bit further away from my face. I'll try not to talk so loud. Okay, so now that we've got everything, what we've got is we've got our flaps set up on, uh, I think it's uh, this one here, or is this one? Okay, and we've got our gear, uh, gear set up back there on uh, A, and we're we've, all our flight modes and everything is going to be set up here on B, right? And so we're on servo setup. Uh, and well, let's see here, ailerons, let me, we need to reverse that servo, okay, so we're going to go in here to not travel, but we're going to click on travel, we're going to move that over to reverse, and then we'll go to aileron and click, and then back out of there, okay, so try that again, that's right. That's right, and rudder's right. Okay, uh, let's see here. The next thing is the travel, okay? Now this is a real important step that a lot of people don't do. Your servo has a uh, range of motion, and what happens during that range of motion 
is if it bottoms out on your model and you're trying to ask it to do more than what it can do, you've got that servo on your, it's, it's sitting there binding up, right? So what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to give our model everything that we can give it. So we're in travel right now and I'm, I'm getting a little used to this, uh, this uh, new radio here. Uh, okay, so we've got ailerons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them ailerons and I'm going to go all the way to 150%. Sounds a little crazy, right? But look, so I'm going to lay them over and then I'm going to start coming back and I'm going to watch them ailerons. You hear all that digital craziness going on? And look, hear how that shuts up? Okay, same thing the other way. Okay, so you can, what you do is you look at that control service and as soon as it starts to make a little bit of a move, then you take it back another click, okay? Uh, now that we've got the aileron done, let's move over to the elevator, all the way up to 150, because we want it to be all it can be. And There's a the move right there. Okay. So we've got 110 one way, 129 on on uh, the other. Okay, and that, you'll have that. It's, they're going to be they're going to be different. Okay, rudder 150. It's not always the exact same. Hardly ever the exact same. That thing doesn't have much travel in it, does it? Mm -mm. Mechanical travel. Okay, so we've got that at 100% now. Let me see here. Make sure I got all. Is it still moving? No. Right there. There was my move. Okay. Okay. Gear you don't want to mess with. And um, the auxiliary you can if you got, uh, you know, your aileron set up on, on dual ailerons. Okay. Now, here's the, the fun one. The, your dual rates. So, if you don't know, uh, and you're just getting into this, dual rates, man, these things are uh, a highly valuable tool on this radio. So, I want you to look at this line here, okay? And I want you to look at this, this cross line, okay? Let me see which one we're on here. We're on ailerons right now. Now, you see that little dot moving there? I want you to see what happens. Uh, wait a minute here. Let me go to uh, take my expo. I'm gonna take my expo all the way 35 to 40 somewhere in there. I just always do. Okay. And um, and on that on that expo, that's what I wanted to show you. So it, see when I travel up with this, see what happens here. See how that line's flattening out. Okay. So when you're at zero. As soon as I touch this, it's moving the control surface, okay? When I flatten that line out, now that little dot's going to have to cruise over before it starts to become effective. So it's not really moving anything until it gets to about right there, and then it'll start taking off and moving your control surface. Well, why do we have this? Well, it's, it's actually a great tool because, for one, our thumbs, we don't work on a perfect north, south, east, and west. Our thumbs work on a, a, a crazy round axis. So when we're operating our elevator, we're hitting on accident our, our ailerons and vice versa. So that's what this expo is for, is it allows us, allows us to move the elevator and not affect the rudders or, or the aileron. And, and uh, the same thing with the throttle and the rudder, right? So I always set mine pretty high, you know, you really, 50 is not really too high, especially when you're starting to be, you know, when you're starting out. 
uh, because you're going to be a little bit less precise. And the guys that do the pinch flying, they're a lot better than us thumb guys, but that's just the way I learned how to fly. Okay, so let me go back over here. Flight mode one. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's in flight mode one. So flight mode one, the way I start mine, and this is just the way I set mine up. You can, you can do yours, whatever's mo most comfortable for you, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go flight mode one. Flight mode one will be my, my low rates. Oh, 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 I know what I'm not doing. I forgot to do my switch down here. That's, that's, that's the, the first thing you want to do. So you highlight that. Okay. It's kind of hard working off your side, but when you don't have it right here in front of you, man, it kind of throws, it's like tying your shoes from the, <laughs> from the front, right? I always have problems doing this. Right. So, so before you do your dual rates, you go in here and you got to set your switch up. We've got the flight mode switch set up, which we did in our, uh, the step prior to this. And then we also, we want to make sure that our switch is pushed all the way away from us. Okay. Now that the switch has been populated, we want to go back up here. And we want to do our expo, to, you know, somewhere between 35, 40, 50, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to crank this thing down. And see, we're not, I'm not used to that on, on my radio. It doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't show that same thing. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, I want you to see this. So, uh, um, see how that's just barely moving that? Now, if I go up one... See, it's a lot more movement, okay? So that's what we're doing is we're lowering, we're lowering our movement during during these these different flight modes, okay? And this is the this is the way that I go through and I set my radio up when I when I burn out a new model, okay? So I've got 38, and it fell on 48, and that's fine, and that's all on flight mode one, okay? And that's also that's on aileron, okay? So I want to stick with the aileron right now. I want to lift that up. Now I'm on flight mode two, okay, and I've got my expo at man, here you go, 48. I'm gonna come back up here. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna bring that up to about right, I don't know, about let's say 60. That's a little too hot. Okay, now we're gonna go flight mode three, and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna set my expo somewhere in that neighborhood. Now I can take this to 125% and I don't have to worry about my mechanically or electronically. I don't have to worry about over peaking my servos because we've already given it its, its, its endpoints, right? The travel points, right? So now I can use that 125 and you see what I mean? Okay, so now if I go back down to flight mode two, See the difference just by flipping that switch there? Okay, so now we've got all our ailerons done. So let's move on to the next one, okay? Now we're gonna go up to, uh, let me make sure I'm not changing something. Okay, and then we wanna go to elevator. Same thing, go down to your switch, hit click, get that in black, flip that thing forward, flip it all the way back. All right, and then we wanna go to expo. And this is one of the things I started doing here a while back. I'll go through my flight modes, knock my expos down real quick. Okay. I usually set them about 35. It's okay. Everybody's different, you know? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to, now I can go back to my rates and I'm on my low rates with my elevator. Okay, now elevator and low rates, man, this is something that you really got to be very aware of. Mm -hmm. You have to use common sense here. The book may tell you 10 degrees or it might tell you so many inches or whatever. Man, you better look at that elevator and see if that elevator looks like it can get you out of the trouble. Okay, and if it looks like it's not enough to get you out of trouble, then the low rate they got in the book is wrong in my book. Okay, does that make sense? If you're looking at this plane, if you're looking at, let's, let's pan out on this thing here real quick. So, uh, and, and this is, man, this is something, man, I can't, I can't say this enough. 
So let's let's just for for poops and giggles. Let's say that they uh, uh, I'm forward. Let's say I got me a measuring tape over there, and I'm I'm trying to figure this out, right? And uh, they tell me that this is that's my low rate. I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. If I get in trouble when I'm taking off or landing or something like that, even though I'm not supposed to be using the low rates when I'm by the ground, that's not what low rates are for. Low rates are for hauling butt, right? right. So I, even though I know that. Man, I may get accidentally mix that switch or something. I want to make dead gum sure I got enough to be able to control this plane to get it up off the ground. And it doesn't have to be a lot, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to set this thing. I'm happy with that right there. That looks that when you when you when you look at that though, you know that's going to change the direction of the plane versus what we were looking at just a second ago, right? Right. Okay, and so I'm set right here, it says on my rate, I'm set at about 30%. Uh, is that here? 30. And I wanna look at that again. And see, that's, I'm, I'm not really worried about going down as much, it's that up. You know, you can set it, you can set your low rates uh, you, you know, pushing the nose down uh, as low as you want to, but it's that one getting that nose up yeah. because I've been caught in that situation where I was trying to use my elevator and it just didn't, I didn't have the, the monkey to get it, uh, get it out of the tree. I don't know where in the hell that analogy came from. So <laughs> let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go back over here to this and try to focus a little bit. And if it's out of focus, just remember that's the way I see the world every day, all day long. Okay. So we've got our low rates done. Flight mode two. Flight mode two. Okay, and uh, we were at thirty on uh, on our uh, other one, right? So on low. So I'm just going to kick this. Uh, let's say fifty-two. Let's see. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, and then, bam! Flip that switch. I'm at a hundred, and we can just take it all the way to ludicrous. Okay, which is 100% if you want to do stunts. Now, that's the way I set up most, of, and I, I don't fly warbirds a lot. I'm more of a, a sport plane, and uh, I have 3D planes. I don't fly 3D. I'm not good enough, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I fly 3D planes, quote right. unquote, right? right? So, okay, now we've got our ailerons. We've got our rudder done, so we're, we're good there. Apparently, we wanted to make this thing in orange when we move it. This is my first NX. I'm getting my cherry popped here with this yeah. thing. So now we're going to go over here to rudder, okay? Now what do we do first? We want to go all the way down here and we're going to hit our switch. Wham, wham. All the way forward, all the way back. Now we got that populated. And we're going to go up to Expo. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Now your Expo is set on all of those, right? That's, that's pretty quick. Now you're starting to see, this is, this I can set up a plane in about, four minutes you know it doesn't take long once you do these a few yeah. times you know once you get around to it. right now the thing is about the rudder and your ho low high uh, rates and all that stuff well guess what buddy your rudders always sit cranked all the way <laughs> all the way because look the that's your right. steering yeah. you know and ground control yeah ground control and even in the air you know air control that's another there again this is this is like uh, going to a, a mosque or a Christian church. Everybody's got their own thing, man. You know, we all see things a certain way. This is just a way that I've learned to do these planes and knock them out. I don't have the um, the pleasure of, of, of building a plane and flying and, and tweaking on that plane for years and stuff. Because of my position here, man, I'm always throwing new planes in the air, you know, so I may fly a plane twice in its lifetime or three times. So I never get to really get married to a plane and really get it dialed in. I do have one or two and uh, uh, it's better for it. You know, some guys never get done tweaking on their planes and their radios and their programs to get that perfect match and to find what works for you. So that, you know, the, the uh, answer to all of this is that you're not doing anything wrong. This is just another way of doing it. You know, so we hope that helps uh, Oh, to get out of here. That's all you do there. Dig. You may want to program in throttle cut. I'm not a fan unless there's a gas motor on it, um, you know, but 
I've never been one for a lot of safety, and that's my own. <laughs> that's my. That's, that's why I got like three fingers. But <laughs> so anyway, we hope it helps. If you've got any questions, um, Google us. Got to know Joe Hobbies. Give us a call. Or pick the phone up, and I'll help you, man. That's what it's all about. Drop a message. Do me a favor. Please subscribe. Look at that new five episode series we just dropped on the Toots and the Myers. Pretty good stories. Y'all be good. Take care. We'll see you later. About to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, got a filled up engine. In my thoughts, obsession, I will not stop. No, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex, haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm facing this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing, straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations, it's my way. I was born impatient. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a girl. 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 I don't know how to stop. I just go till I drive. Whether it's working or shots, give it all.